Hello and welcome to our tutorial on Pay Entry Payroll Batches Screen Overview. Once you've begun a new payroll, one of the first screens you will see is the Payroll Batches screen. In this tutorial, we are going to go over each section of the screen to give you a high level overview. The first thing that you will see is your check date at the very top of the screen. Prior to beginning a new payroll, your check date should have been verified, so this is just a confirmation of what payroll you are processing. The next section is the time clock import. If you have a time clock, for example a clock entry file, you will see this option at the top of your screen. If you do not use a time clock import, you will not see this option. The next area is the payroll data entry. This will list out each batch that you have set up for this particular payroll. In this example, we see that we have a batch for a weekly payroll. It is currently in an open status. These are the pay period dates that it's covering. Then you have the option of how you want to enter your payroll, either by employee or in a batch. You have the option to check your totals, to run a pre-processing register. Once you have completed all of your changes to your batch, you can close the batch. Or if you discover that you had some errors or some problems with the data that you were entering, you could restart your batch. Restarting your batch will eliminate any of the keying that you've done in that batch and begin anew. And then you could remove the entire batch if you need to. If you'd like to key in additional batches, you can add a new batch. Your next section is the check calculator. The check calculator is the option for calculating manual checks. You may view the information, save the check information, or in some cases just print the manual check. You can also do what if statements with the check calculator. If for example someone is getting a raise and wants to see what their new net pay would be, you can key that information in your check calculator to give an estimate. This bottom section, the verification and completion, you can select to run a pre-process register. This option and the option above in the payroll data entry register section leads you to the same area where you can run this report. And finally, you can close the payroll with this option at the bottom. Closing indicates that you have completed all of your keying and are ready to process. This concludes our tutorial on Pay Entries Payroll Batch Screen Overview.